hello dear son welcome back to my channel my name is Fardaw Sahel in this video I'm going to show you how to change this data and privacy for gmail account first you need to sign in with your gmail then you need to click here and click on manage your google account in your left we need to click on data and privacy tab What you can change here in data and privacy, if I scroll down, so you can see your data and privacy options. First, things you have done and places you have been. Info you can share with others. Data from apps and services you use. And more options. And if I scroll down, so we have the things you have done and places you have been the personalization at the google fed privacy info you can share with others and interested in learning more and data from apps and services you use and email from google services download your deleted your data and more options is that you can make a plan of digital legacy and more let's take a look at the first here which is the history settings what you can find in history settings is that you can find the web and app activity so it is turned on we have the timeline which is paused and we have the youtube history and down there we have the see and delete your history anytime you can click my activity or you can directly go on map timeline or you can click on youtube watch and search history let's click on my activity in your left we have delete activity by we have other activity which i'm going to show you activity controls the google account let's just scroll down so here we have the web and app activity which is turned on timeline is off youtube history is on and from here if i click manage my activity verification so you can manage your activity verification as well but here if i click so you can delete activity by and other activity as well and if i click here so you can delete the last hour the last day all time and custom range you can delete your activity and if i scroll down you can see yesterday i visited the stem-mail.org and you can see the details i can click on details so you can see it is google analytics and yesterday at this time and i visited this website and from here i can click and delete this activity and if i scroll down it's going to show me more activity here which i just visited with this account and from here if i click on other activity so it's going to show me all other activities so here we have different activities in google we have the uh, web and app activity youtube history directly you can click uh, click on manage activity for the web app activity or maybe for youtube history or for maybe for the timeline and if i scroll down so you can see my ad center the google pay experience the google wallet passes data google workspace search history gemini app activity google photo personalization youtube channel subscription youtube not interested feedback youtube survey answers and comments on youtube comment like and dislike on youtube youtube community posts youtube live chat messages youtube like and dislike youtube customize your feedback feed and feedback youtube purchase activity youtube gift settings youtube playable game for grass youtube playable save it scores feedback on content made using youtube ai power tools or features hyping youtube videos youtuber other video interactions google word coach place answers place suggested answers feedback your interest and notifications call and message information play personalization options news preferences purchase and reservations my ad center preferences google app podcast subscriptions google podcast references google survey answers 
data archive and sharing history download your data from my activity data shared from research corm history from here directly as i said you can click on view history for the corm product price tracking and google assistant routines voice and paste match enrollment crisis response user reports google playbook feedback translate language selections dictionary and pronoun pronunciation search info assistant memory your business information google podcast episode qe hold for me direct my call and call a screen shared audio and if i scroll down you can see more requests for services receipts shared with google opinions rewards comment comments on search media like and dislike on search media like and dislike on google tv your rating and reviewing on search promo activity the government exam quiz activity crowdsource activity a portrait activity a generative imagery in search google play content from app developers speak up speak user account directly from here i can delete include your user account activity practiced let's just click to go back so if i click on activity controls so i can controls on my activity if i scroll down so you can see here i can turn it off and there is the options for the web and app activity from here for sub settings which i can check the include core mystery and activity from sites app and devices that you use google services which is checked and i can check the second include voice and audio activity and include visual search history and from here i can delete activity older than 18 months but automatically auto delete it after 18 months for this activity and i can click manage all web and activity from here and for the timeline as you can see it is turned off but you can turn it on the settings that you can check here is the share timeline edits and related data to improve your experience you can back up but it is turned off and auto delete as you can see not applicable for this one and you can turn on timeline to choose an auto delete option if you want to so we have the youtube history activity right here we can turn it off but by default it is turn it on and the settings here we can check the include the youtube video on watch include videos you watch you can include uh, your searches on youtube you can include youtube voice and audio activity and after 36 pound automatically is going to delete that but here you can delete activity older than 36 pound auto delete is on but from here directly as i said you can click and if i want to manage the history so simple i can manage my history So now directly from here i can click on google account if i want to go directly so this is how i can check and manage all my all my google activity what more you can change here with data and privacy as you can see the personalized ad here search personalization You can manage google fed privacy from here and other uh, relevant options like purchases reservations and what info you can share with others like a profile if i click on profile as you can see only me and any one here so i can share my basic information with anyone or only you can set that to only you you can just click here maybe i don't want to share so who can see your name anyone can see for the gender as you can see here i can select anyone or only me And if i scroll down you can see the contact info and 
about and work and education that you can add here let me click on data and privacy and you can share your location as you can see location sharing not sharing with anyone but if you want to share so simple you can click so here we have the payment method the subscriptions your devices the contact us with data and privacy and if i scroll down so you can see the apps and services the third party app and services here and email from google services you can download your data and you can delete a google service if you want to download your data click here so here we have this google takeout access log activity you can check the alerts and if i scroll down so you can see assignments art and culture blogger canvas corm contacts and we have more in the list which is fed fedbit Gemini, which is ai by google google account and google chat and more here we have which 62 out of 64 is selected you can just click on next step select download link via email or you want to add to drive you want to add to dropbox you want to add to onedrive you want to add to a box if i scroll down so you can see the frequency which i can select export or export once or you can export every two months for one year six export and you can export that in this extensions dot zip dot tg z and the file size is 2 gb you can select up to 50 gb here and you can click on create export and export progress is going to show you I don't want to take out anything from here and if I scroll down so simple I can delete our Google service first it needs to enter this the password that you want to remove a service that you are no longer no longer use that and if I scroll down, down there we have this make a plan for your digital legacy and also you can delete your Google account. If I click here, so again it's going to require the password, the password for my account which I want to delete my account from here. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to see the data and privacy in gmail account and change the settings and if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel so see you guys in the next video